Hi, I'm Robert Ring with OS Training, and we're very happy to be working with InMotion Hosting to bring you this tutorial on the first step to creating any Drupal 8 site, installing Drupal 8. Thanks to InMotion also for providing the server space used in this tutorial. Before we get into the usual method of installing Drupal 8, I will point out that sometimes InMotion and other web hosts offer what are generally referred to as one-click install scripts for various content management systems such as Drupal. We can usually find those at the bottom of our hosting accounts cPanel page down here. You'll see that we don't actually have one for Drupal 8 right now. Currently Drupal 8 is very new so web hosts aren't going to have that yet. But do keep in mind that in the future if you happen to feel intimidated by the first few steps of installing a content management system, you can use this alternative. This will get you most of the way through the process that we're going to cover. For those times when you're not using a one-click install, you'll be using the usual, more standard method that we're covering here. That starts with downloading Drupal. To do that, you're going to go to drupal.org, click Download and Extend, and do keep in mind, Drupal, just like any other open source content management system, is free to download, so you don't have to worry about that. When you get to Download and Extend, you'll see a big green box right here that says Download Drupal. This will always be the latest production ready version of Drupal. If you need a different major version of Drupal like Drupal 7 or if sometime in the future if Drupal 9 is the most current version and you're looking for Drupal 8, you can always go to other releases and click on the version you want and just make sure you get whichever one is the most recent. But we're going to go back to download and extend, and we're going to get the most current version of Drupal 8, which as of this recording is 8.0.1. You get whatever is the most current version for you. Go ahead and click on that, and I'll take you to the main Drupal 8 download page. Here we go, Drupal Core. And you can get whichever version works best with your operating system, either tar.gz or zip. I'm just going to download this to my desktop and click Save. Keep in mind you are downloading this to your local computer. We're not putting this up on our server environment quite yet. And once you've downloaded that, you've taken the first step of your Drupal installation.